And good evening, and thank you for joining us. I'm Andrew Heal. And I'm Shannon Ogden. This month, two people were killed, four others hurt in a series of bombings around Austin, Texas. And overnight, police tracked down their suspect, that young man there, Mark Anthony Condit. And as they closed in on him, he blew himself up with a bomb. And today we are learning more about that 23-year-old who lived outside Austin. And we found that Condit has ties here to the Denver Metro. His grandmother lives here. And today we spoke to his aunt who says the family is in shock. Denver 7 Sally Mamdu spoke to the family is in the studio tonight. Sally? And Shannon, Mark Condit's family is distraught to know it's him. They tell me they didn't know Mark had this dark and fatal sight to him. 23-year-old Mark Anthony Condit's family says they're shocked to know Mark is Austin's serial bomber. I think that this is such, it, it's like an earthquake that's just been placed in our family. Early this morning and after a frantic three-week search, authorities were able to track down the man that put the Texas Capitol in panic. Condit took his own life inside his car with an explosive device as authorities closed in. We spoke to his aunt Shawnee on his dad's side, who's in the Denver Metro. We are devastated and broken at the news that our family member could be involved in such an awful way. We had no idea of the darkness that Mark must have been in. Our family is a normal family in every way. We love, we pray, and we try to inspire and serve others. Over in Pflugerville, Texas, where Condit lived, a neighbor says the man behind the terror lived next door. He just was, let's say, very, he was a quiet, very polite, respectful young man. Um, um, you know, the conversations that I had with him and with the, with the family were all nothing, nothing that would ever lead you to believe that anything like this could ever be possible. Since the mysterious bombing began in March 2nd, two people were killed and others injured. Tonight, Condit family is praying for everyone involved, including their family member, the Austin bomber. Right now, our prayers are for the families who lost loved ones for those impacted in any way, and for the soul of our mark. We are grieving and in shock. And what made the capture of Condit difficult at the beginning is that he constantly changed his tactics. However, the material he used in his bombs were all common household ingredients, which directed detectives' attention to area stores. Certainly everyone in the country, not just Texas, is relieved this terror is over. For now, we're live in the newsroom. Sally Mabdu, Denver 7. Thanks, Sally. We have